Welcome back to the Boyd's Nest Kitchen, which is one of my favorite places to be. I am fulfilling a request today for an incoming eighth grader who wants to learn to make chicken quesadillas. So today I'm going to show you how you can prepare chicken quesadillas on your own without any help from anybody. Here we go. First thing you're going to want to do is have a nonstick skillet on your cooktop. And what I'm going to do is put just a little bit of fat down on here so that it will help to crisp up and allow my tortilla to get a little bit golden. So I'm just going to brush a little bit of oil. Um, if you prefer, you can spray it with non-stick non cooking spray, or you could just put a little bit of butter, maybe a teaspoon down as well. Now what I'm going to do is preheat my pan. It's important to make sure your pan is hot before you start. Otherwise, your tortilla could just get soggy. So make sure it's nice and hot. I'm gonna give it about a couple minutes and I just have a medium high heat. So if you have numbers on your dial, it's probably about a seven to eight. I'm gonna take one of my flour tortillas and put it down on my preheated oiled skillet. Now on top of this, I am going to put down about a fourth of a cup of cheese. You can use whatever cheese you have. I just have a yellow and white blend um, so I'm just going to spread this across the entire tortilla. Okay, so that's about half of it, a fourth of it. Okay, so half of my cheese. Now I'm going to put my chopped up chicken. You can use whatever chicken um, your parents have in their pantry or left over in the fridge. I happen to have some rotisserie chicken that I had from Costco. I always just debone that chicken pop it in my freezer so I can pull it out as, as I need it. So again, about a half of a cup of chicken, but this time you're gonna dump all of the chicken over top of your first layer of cheese. Kind of spread that out. Now on top of that chicken layer, I'm gonna take my remaining cheese. And this is gonna act kind of like the glue. The cheese is gonna stick the tortilla to the chicken, all right? So now the chicken is just kind of sandwiched between the two layers of cheese. So now I'm gonna take my final tortilla and place it right on top. And we're just gonna wait a few minutes so that we can make sure that cheese is getting all gooey and melty in there before we attempt to turn it. All right, so what I'm seeing in here, if I kind of peek, is that cheese is starting to melt, especially on the bottom. Since you're using a nonstick skillet or pan, please do your parents a favor and do not use metal. We're gonna use a wooden turner to flip this. You can also use a plastic or silicone, whatever you happen to have in your utensil drawer. And I'm gonna kind of hold down the top of my tortilla and I'm gonna flip it over. And what you can see is kind of this golden brown delicious surface. Let me turn this light off, see if that helps you a little bit, buddy. See how that's kind of golden? That's what you want. That's going to have that malleared effect, which is basically the science of browning and gives food that kind of golden, delicious flavor. All right, both the top and the bottom of the quesadilla have browned. So I'm going to carefully transfer this onto a cutting board to get ready to serve. All right, now that your quesadilla has been removed onto a cutting board, what I like to do is use a pizza cutter to cut this into triangles just like you were going to make a pizza or you could just do quarters. Now you can go ahead and serve it with whatever toppings you want, whether it's shredded lettuce, tomatoes, salsa, sour cream, more cheese, the sky's the limit. So go ahead. All right, and there you have it. Chicken and cheese, quesadillas, just the way you like it. Customize it any way you want. Colin, this one's for you. If any of you have any other suggestions or ideas of things you'd like to see me cook so that you can try to learn it on your own, send them my way and put them in the comments. See you next time.